Hey guys, Grady here. There is nothing immoral about the wall in Denmark. Now, I was watching NPR this morning, and NPR is a, or not watching, I was listening to NPR this morning in the car on the way to work. NPR is a highly trusted news source that covers politics, the environment, whatever. News from around the nation and the world. And they mentioned something about Denmark building a wall. Now, do I support the wall that we're going to supposedly build around Mexico? Well, no, because that's in violation of human rights. Denmark's wall doesn't violate any rights. Denmark actually has a valid, sensible, logical reason for a wall. What is their reasoning? Simple. Denmark is a high pig farming country, meaning that a lot of the farmers out there are pig farmers. So the thing with the wall is that Denmark wants to put it on the wall between Denmark and Germany so that that way wild hogs will not get in and spread African swine fever to the local populations of domestic pigs. It's that simple. That's why they're building a wall. It's going to be about five feet tall. However, the problem with this wall is that if it's going to be built, they really have to do something about it to make sure it's completely impenetrable because they say other animals will be allowed to pass through it. Okay, if other animals are, the hogs can get through too. But I'm support but Denmark, hey, I'm supporting you. If you want to build this wall to protect your pigs from getting infected with a horrible disease, so long as you're not killing wild hogs to do so, then go ahead, build it. That's fine with me. Go ahead, build the wall, Denmark. Go ahead. You have my full support. Trump, let me ask you this. You really think a wall is going to stop crime? How come people didn't think of that? How many years ago was it? Um, I believe it was 526 years ago when Christo fuck Columbus and those other illegal immigrants came over, destroyed everything, and founded a nation that is still infested with illegal immigrants. Hmm. Didn't build a border wall then, there's no reason to now. No reason at all. Doesn't make any frickin' sense. You're just preventing more of our own kind from coming at really? Hmm. That's interesting. You want more people who are like you to be in the same country you're in, right, Trump? Okay, then let all these illegal immigrants in, because I'm an illegal immigrant. I don't care, I don't care if I was born here. Think that matters? Doesn't frickin' matter, Trump. Do you Trump supporters? Doesn't frickin' matter where you're born. What matters is your heritage. I mean, do I look like I'm an American? Do you, what, what is the matter with you people? I am white. I'm not a frickin' American. I am not a frickin' American. But I will not support our wall. <laughs> not the wall in Mexico. Nope. <laughs> the wall in Denmark, though. Woo! You got my support, Denmark. Where, where does the, let me ask you guys this, where does the wall get us, honestly? Where, where does the wall get us? Look at history. Where did the wall get Germany? Nowhere, because the wall got knocked down. Where did the wall get North Korea? Completely isolated from the rest of the world. And now nobody, no country in the world, except maybe China and Japan, have any idea what's going on in North Korea. They don't have any idea how powerful their weapons are. They don't know anything about them because the wall has isolated them. Essentially, if you enter North Korea and you're not a citizen of North Korea, you're killed. That's a big problem. You don't, you don't have a problem with that? Really? That doesn't freaking bother you. That doesn't show an example for you of how walls don't fucking work. Really? What's the deal here, guys? The wall is not immoral in Denmark, but that's because they're doing it to stop a potential serious health hazard. We're doing it just to be jerks. People come to this country, surprisingly now, to feel safe. You, you don't want them to feel safe. What is the matter with you people? We the people, in order to form a more perfect nation and allow people from all over the world to come... Really? No, we don't. Not with that crazy fucker we have as pre... You gotta be kidding me. 
This is why I am completely against the Constitution. Oh, and by the way, say whatever you fucking want. Oh, you liberal. Oh, you gosh damn Democrat. Oh, blah, boo hoo, blah, blah, blah. Here's a newsflash. I'm not a Democrat anymore. I'm not a Republican anymore. I do not identify myself with either of those two parties because most members from both of those parties are despicable. You are all despicable, you Democrats and you Republicans. You're all despicable. You don't know how to sit down and have sensible discussions with each other. What is the matter with you people? You've lo you guys are a fucking disgrace. You're the disgrace. Yeah, the government shutdown is mostly Trump's fault, but completely Trump's fault? No, and I'm not even a Trump supporter. You are all fucking responsible for the shutdown. Trump, you need to quit blaming the Democrats and you need to quit encouraging your supporters to blame to blame every problem in this country on the Democrats. That's childish and stupid. You can't even see the flaws in your own party, dude. That shows bad leadership right there. I'm a socialist, guys. I call out socialism all the time. Every day. I look at the problems in socialist countries and I say, right there, that's a problem for me that I don't like. Or that I don't agree with. But you d Really? You don't see the flaws in your own parties. This is why I can't side with either. They're all just despicable. This is why I do not support the wall any anywhere except Denmark, because Denmark is doing it because of health reasons for their livestock. Denmark has a valid, logical, sensible reason for doing so. They're doing it to prevent wild hogs from infecting domestic pigs with horrible deadly diseases although here's the problem with the wall in Denmark like ours it won't work for these reasons there are other ways people can get around the wall people and pigs whether you're talking about here or Denmark quite simple they can get around it by going through a waterway digging and the people can blow up the wall that would be nice if they blew up the wall. They're going to blow up the Great Wall of China. They are. It's going. It's going away. Because it just causes more division, which is something unnecessary in this world. Yeah, I do have a problem with the thousands and thousands of native U.S. American children getting kidnapped by white people every year. Yeah, I do have a big fucking problem with that. I have a huge fucking problem with that. You don't. I'm not sure why. That should be your biggest concern for violation of human rights. You don't, you don't fucking care. You don't fucking care about that. You think we have the greatest economy? Really? Our economy is crap. With this government shutdown, our economy is crap. It's... We don't have the greatest economy anymore, guys. And even if we did before, we probably haven't had the greatest economy for several years. Do you know how much revenue China makes every day? For the thousands of shipments they make to every country in the world daily? The thousands of daily shipments sent to all the different ports or stations in every country in the world. Exports from China, exported goods and services from China. Do you know how much money they make? Millions and millions upon millions of dollars, up to billions of dollars. One single day. That's more than even the most, even the person with the best paying job in the world makes in their entire life. China makes that in one day. Their economy is thriving well. Ours is shit. We have almost a million people not getting fucking paid to work. And you guys are like, oh yeah, praise Trump. Really? You say he's treating us what, really? And putting us first? 
He may be putting us first, but he's not doing it in a good way, and even if he was, I wouldn't support him on that. That's totally selfish. There are people in North Korea suffering, being abused, and Trump is saying, oh, put the U.S. citizens first. Who cares? We're privileged people. Don't put privileged people first. Put those in need first. What's wrong with you people? As a socialist, I am completely offended by the North Korean regime. You can't tell me I'm a bad person because I'm a socialist. Really? So all capitalists are good people. Really? Interesting. You look at Brazil, they're in a worse state than we are right now. Far worse. And they are extremely capitalist. They have a dictator just like we do. You think socialism fit? Really? You ever been to Europe? China, you know, they're showing how communism works. In fact, capitalism is really a big problem in China. Why is it's why is this? Well, it's quite simple. The cities in China, all the large cities in China, those are all capitalist and were built by were built under capitalism. And yet you have to wear gas masks in all of those cities consistently, especially in Hong Kong. Oh my gosh, what a disappointment. Hong Kong. You have to wear a gas mask there all the time. It's, it's, that's literally all you can really wear. That's literally the only article of clothing you can't take off is a gas mask. That's, I mean, this is Hong Kong. It's because of all the toxic pollution. It's gotten so bad that one whiff of it kills you. And this is capitalism that's causing that problem. This isn't fucking communism. That's why mainland China thrives so well. But you... You don't realize that. Socialism isn't perfect, communism isn't perfect, and capitalism is most certainly not perfect. No form of government is. And as I said, I'm a socialist. I call out socialism and communism all the time. But they're going to be the way of the future, and people are going to go about doing, doing those forms of government in the correct and proper way, just like Denmark is doing and the rest of Scandinavia. In fact, most of Europe is really socialist incredibly. Canada, yeah, they're pretty socialist. They're Cuba. They're thriving under communism. Cuba has the best medicine in the entire world. Our medicine is shit. Ours is shit. Not to mention the socialist and communist countries. Universal health care, free health care, really? And yet you have a problem with these countries, really? The stuff we pay for healthcare, it's so fucking unaffordable. There's no wonder we can't pay for it. We don't have enough to fucking pay for it. In socialist and communist nations, it's free. Thank goodness. On a closing note, there is nothing immoral about the wall in Denmark. There's nothing immoral about it in Denmark. It has failed in China, it has failed in North Korea, it has failed in every other country in the world where they've had a wall, especially in Germany, and it will continue to fail through other countries that want walls. It will continue to fail. The wall system doesn't work, it never has worked, it never will work, and it'll even, I'm sure it'll even fail in Denmark as well to keep the wild hogs out. They can swim through waterways to get there. And if not, they'll find some way to get in. You really think that the wall in North Korea is preventing wildlife from entering North Korea? Really? There's a ton of wildlife in North Korea that's coming from Russia, China, and South Korea. The walls don't work. They will not, if, if nearly impenetrable walls cannot keep animals out, they definitely will not keep people out. Fuck the wall between the U.S. and Mexico. Screw it. It's a fucking bad idea. It's not going to fucking work and it's going to get fucking blown up. But support the wall in Denmark. 
Thank you all for watching. Have a peaceful day. Bye.